this video is on a chapter of uh, vectors in vector spaces. We are on dot, the inner product, dot product. And in the previous video, we were asked to prove that taking the dot product with a vector fixed, with a fixed vector v, is a linear operator. We, please check the previous video, we saw what a linear operator is, and we have vectors u1, u2, up, and v, the, the fixed vector, all in the vector space Rn, a1, a2, ap, scalars in R, and now we are asked to prove 1 and 2. So we are going to prove that the sum from k equals 1 to p of ak times uk, where ak is a scalar and v is a vector, a fixed vector in the vector space, equals the sum from k1 to p of ak times uk times v. So to prove this, we are going to use induction, okay? So let us check all this for p equals 1. So for p equals 1, please check the previous video, you already saw this, when we saw this sum of k, k u times v, Okay, so th this would be the sum of a u times v, and that is equal to the sum of a u times v. Please check a previous video where we proved all this under a different notation, but that was the same. And the notation was more or less like this one. Okay, the sum of k u times v equals the sum of k u v. Okay, so for p equals 1, proved. Okay, since it is true for p equals 1, let us admit that this is um, true for p minus 1, for a fixed p minus 1. So for a fixed p minus 1, we will we would have sum from k1 to p minus 1, ak uk times v, all these times the fixed vector, and the sum from k1 to p minus 1 of ak uk times the fixed vector. So question, now that we have done for p equals 1, and we admitted that it is true for p minus 1, is this true for p so, is this true for the sum from k equals 1 to p of a k u k all these times the fixed vector v? Okay, remember in one of the first videos where we saw the summation symbol or the summation notation? So, we can write this, we move one back, as we normally usually say, we move one back. So this will be the sum from k equals 1 to p minus 1 of a k u k times v plus, so 1 is missing here, right? Okay, this is when one of, we saw, uh, we proved this in the videos where we saw the, we saw the properties of summation symbol or summation notation. So p minus 1, so this will be my plus 1, and 1 is here the summation from a, because p is 1 here, a p u p times v. Okay, but using the, the property that we proved before, we can say that the sum, uh, let, me, let me do this here. So the sum of ak uk times v, we prove this, we can write it as ak uk times v, right, from 1 to p minus 1 again. And in this one is the same as a simple vector, okay, it's a matter of one of the videos before where we proved that a scalar times a vector 
times another vector is the same as the scalar times the product of the, the two vectors. We saw that in one of the first videos in this list. Okay, so all this is equal to what? Well, all this is only a matter of notation, right? This goes from k equals 1 to p minus 1. So if we join all this here, this went to p minus 1, now it goes to p. So it will be the sum from k equals 1 to p of ak times uk times v. So here you are, the sum from k1 to p of ak times uk times v outside is equal to the sum of ak uk times v. And that concludes the proof, the proof for 1. Okay, so we prove this one, the sum from k equals 1 to p of ak times uk times v equals the sum from k1 to p of ak times uk times v. This one is proved by induction. And we move immediately for the proof of the second one. This one is going to be really easy because it's only a matter of using this uh, vector commit commutativity. Okay. So to prove the second one, that's really simple because we just need to use uh, this simple fact that we already proved a couple of times. Okay? And also using the number one, okay, the, the, the first proof. So what is v times the, um, the sum from k equals 1 to p of ak uk? Okay, you can check the proof for this. So this is v times, this, this is a vector, right? This is like vector v, v times u, this is like u. So, um, use the proof of commutativity of vector multiplication. We can write it this way, okay? We can write u here and v here, v here, okay? Okay, now, Oh, I did not put the index here. That's something that you end up doing, not putting the, the index for the, for the sum when you already know what it is or when it doesn't change. Okay. Uh, so here, the sum of AK, UK times V for, the, for reasons that we saw in the, the, the proof of uh, number one. Uh, this is the same as ak times uv. Okay, and then you can change u and v, and you get ak, the sum of ak, v times uk. And this concludes the proof. So we just proved that v times the sum of ak, uk, is equal to the sum of ak. You saw that v changed here okay so yes uh, with a fixed vector v the dot product is a linear operator or ta taking the dot product with a fixed vector v we use this fi fixed vector v um, represents a linear operation 